It's your Better Kansas City break with Lisa Holbrook. Ask just about anyone what they're terrified of. Public speaking is always near the top of the list, but it doesn't have to be that way. Garrett Haskell Gardner is president of Full Voice and wrote the book, You Can Sound Like You Know What You're Saying, So People Will Take You Seriously. He's here this morning to help us become better speakers. Good morning. Good morning, Lisa. Why is it we're terrified? Well, because we think we have to script everything. Okay. And when, once you have a script, then the words get in the way. And if you stay in the concept, then everything flows. Okay, so you have some easy ways to alleviate the fear and anxiety when we get up there to speak. Yes, I get, get them to trust their awareness. Okay. The awareness is what is the real you, not the ego. The ego gets in the way. So what I do is have people understand that they can trust their awareness to give them the words so that when I'm speaking to a group of people, I'll say something like, I can talk about anything, give me a subject. And they do, and I just give myself over to my awareness, which is my connection to the source, by the way, and the words just come. So if you're confident in yourself and what you're talking about, and, and, and I like what you said in the point, so people think you know what you're talking about. That's correct. They hope you do, <laughs> because otherwise they're wasting their time listening to you. What about just the fear of being up there in front of a large group of people? Well, most people grow up in a culture that says, stay in the background, don't make waves. Well, you and I both know, if you don't make waves, the world doesn't know who you are. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to say what you want to say, but not the words. Speak from your knowing. A lot of it is also rapport with people. How do we develop that? Okay, rapport comes from being able to listen well to what the other person is saying instead of waiting for your turn to talk. Instead of waiting for your turn to talk, you respond to what they say, and it keeps the conversation going. Oh boy, so many times we make that mistake. We don't listen. That's correct. And it's easy. That's right. And does that also tie in with, we, we also have to respond well? Well, you have to respond by staying in the moment. We tend to say, now what did I say before? or what should I say, rather than staying in the moment and just responding to what the other person has said. We often have trouble also picking the right words when we're thinking on our feet. How do we do that? Well, you shouldn't pick the right words. What you should do is to stay within your knowing. I keep using the word knowing. The knowing is where you reside, not your ego. Is it true that many people speak too fast? Correct. <laughs> they don't allow silence. Now the silence is that space between the phrases that makes the conversation. Now that's a paraphrase of Mozart's, it's the space between the notes that makes the music. And I got to tell you, you're great to listen to because you speak slowly and clearly and you enunciate. Correct. There you have it. And this guy teaches at Longview Community College. Correct. You can get his book. And we're going to tell you how to find him on our website and Full Voice, his book. It's all at kctv5.com. Click the Better KC tab. Thanks, Garrett. Thank you, Lisa.